Tiffany was born to be a leader. We, we noticed that she was going to be a great leader from an early age on. She, over, she was honest, self-confident, started delegating early, always motivated, cared for others, had a, has a charisma, always looking to the lead. She's outgoing, talkative, team player. She, 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 talk, she was very talkative as a, at an early age where she talked like the grown-up at that level. Hi, my name is Raven Williams, and I am a friend of Tiffany's. I was just so super impressed with Tiffany, and I would just instill in her what she already had. I said, Tiffany, you can be anything you want to be. You're super smart, you're intelligent, you're witty, you're fun. I said, your personality is, everyone loves it. The whole neighborhood, they, we love it. My family, my friends, you know, everybody had adopted Tiffany as their own because she was just a sweet girl. Fast forward, you know, to now, Tiffany, I've always seen this in you. You've always been that, that little girl who knew what she wanted. I was just so glad that um, that I was able to be in your life to see all of this to come to pass from when you was a young child until now. And I knew you were always going to be someone great. I've often told you, Tiffany, you're going to be great. And guess what? You superseded what I said. So, Tiffany, I love you. I'm so thankful that you've been in my life. I'm so glad to see what you've become. And I know that this is just only the beginning. This is just the tip of the icing. And I can't, I can't wait to see what more that God has in store for you. We love you. We're super proud of you. I'm super proud of you. And I'm always here for you. Love you, baby girl. My name is Del Smith and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Acclinate. What makes Tiffany the ideal co-founder? Tiffany strives every single day for excellence, growth, achievement. She's focused on results. She is okay with being held accountable. And I think a strength that she has, that I know that she knows she has, is her ability to relate with people, relationships. I can't think of too many people who have met Tiffany and not felt that they had a genuine, sincere connection to her on a very personal level. And that is tremendously valuable because that is not an attribute that I possess, which is another reason why she is an ideal founder for our company and what we're doing. So I cannot say enough great things about Tiffany, her as an individual, and her as a co-founder for the company. This is Rosemary. I am on brand, look behind me. It's important I know that all the details are always there. Thank you, Tiffany, for so much for all you have done and shown, for the way you continue to look out for minorities and women. We thank you for being in this space at this time. We thank you as we celebrate and bring to a close Women History Month, that we could not let this month go by, nor even each day, without recognizing the great contributions you have given. Tiffany, we value you, your tenacity, your wit, your self, your selflessness. You give so much of yourself to your family, to others. And as co-founder and chief development officer of Acclinate, Tiffany, we tilt today. We look to you. Take your bow. Tiffany, hello. I met you on a mountain called Stone Mountain. And I have watched you climb many mountains. And I'm happy to say for Women's History Month that you're writing your history as you climb another mountain that's probably much higher than Stone Mountain. And I hope that I can be there to help support you on your journey because my shoulders, these shoulders of mine, you're not too heavy to stand on them. So I wanna make your journey to up that next strong mountain, that big mountain, 
I want to make your journey much easier. And thank you for allowing me, allowing me to be part of that ladder that helped lift you higher. Tiffany Whitlow is a whirlwind of a person and I'm very thankful to be working with her. She has more charisma and more vision in one little finger than most people do in their whole being. And I'm super thankful that I get to help her make her dreams come true. Living with Tiff is never a dull moment. There's always fun, energy, excitement, and some form of a surprise around the corner, whether it's her just being her or if it's a true surprise itself. Tiff truly helped me be a better me by challenging me to be a better person overall and trusting my passions and truly being the individual that God allowed me to be. Um, I saw it a few times and said that yes, this is what I want to do, uh, but I think Tiffany really pushed me to be that person uh, that I am today. Uh, she opened me up to see different things and look at things differently from the perspective of who I am and what I can accomplish and to really have you know, belief in myself and to go out and just tackle big visions and not wait for that big vision to kind of tackle itself. Uh, so yeah, she does a lot for me. I know we help a lot, of, help each other a lot in a lot of different forms, um, but what she does for me has really opened up me to be a true visionary and trust my passions and, you know, be a avid and aggressive entrepreneur. Now, Papa, what's the sweetest thing about Tiffany? Well, it's hard to put in a handful of words. For myself, Tiffany is the sweetest granddaughter a person could ever wish to have or think of. Because she's thinking of you when when you're having when you don't have the slightest inclination that she's thinking about you. She thinks about the small thing. Just as you think that, oh that's just something that, and, and pass and you know and nobody will remember that she thinks of it and she she springs it on you all the time <laughs> I, I have to laugh because i have to think back when she was uh, a kid a top a tiny top and how surprised she was when we would give her things and how she would care for them and she's just a super great great grandchild that anyone could ever wish for. And we love her for that. And like I said, and a million things more. Okay, Papa, what is your proudest memory of Tiffany? Well, of course, there, there are hundreds, if not thousands. Just going back uh, and giving you an answer off, off the tip of my tongue, I would say that our proudest moment was when we found out we were gonna be great grandparents when we heard that you were on the way and we were so excited to get the news. That moment was also when we were moving into our, our new house in Columbus. And now, you know, we're moving in another new house. We have some more proud moments. She was right in the middle of it. She was the one responsible for us being here. We're proud of her for that. She took the bull by the horn, as you might say, and, you know, got this to happen. She made it happen, and we love her for it, and we're very proud.